Okay. Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, my name is Vignesh and I am a lead quant mentor at IMS International. So many of my colleagues and I were receiving this question from a lot of students. And the question is, can I skip questions in the GMAT? So this is a pretty straightforward question. And the answer to this question is either a yes or a no. Correct. But before we discuss this in detail, let us talk about the structure of the GMAT exam, which is very important. Okay, so the structure of the GMAT focus exam is as follows. So the exam has three sections, namely quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning and data insights. As you can see on the screen, right? So the quantitative reasoning section consists of 21 questions and students will be given a time limit of 45 minutes to address these 21 questions. In case of the verbal reasoning section, students will be asked 23 questions for which again, they'll be given 45 minutes. And in case of the data insights sections two, students will be given 45 minutes to address 20 questions, which means there are three sections and each section is of 45 minutes. So in total, there are 64 questions to be addressed in two hours and 15 minutes. Uh, about the question types and the uh, Coring part, we'll be talking in some other video, but right now let's come back to the question. That is if you can skip questions in the GMAT or not. So I'll be giving you an example of a quantitative reasoning question, but this example will be true for the other sections also. So it will work exactly the same way for verbal reasoning and data insights as well. Okay. So let's consider this question. This question is from the official practice exam one, okay, which is there on mba.com. And this is how the interface of the main exam would look like. So on the top right corner, you can see the remaining time. That is, I still have 44 minutes and 54 seconds left to answer my questions. And I'm on question number one currently. We have another interesting feature that is called as the bookmark feature. So we'll be talking about this too, but after a while. Okay. So coming to this question, this question has five options. Now let's say there's a student who has already spent one and a half to two minutes on this question. And he seems a bit uncomfortable with this question. That is he has got an answer, but he's not sure if that is right or not. So he wants to go back. He wants to proceed with the next question and he has decided to come back to this question later on. So can he do that? Now see if a student clicks on this option here on next, this is what he'll get in response. Okay. So this says that you cannot continue with this question unanswered, which means that you cannot skip a question in the GMAT. In order to view the next question, you need to answer this question. You need to at least make an educated guess so that you can view the next question. Okay. And the reason for this is that the GMAT exam is question adaptive. That is, if you answer this question correctly, the next question would be difficult as compared to this question. Okay. And vice versa. That means if you answer this incorrectly, the next question would be easier as compared to this question. So you're not allowed to skip a question in the GMAT. However, we saw that there's a bookmark option as well, which the GMAC has introduced in the focus edition. So let's talk about that. So the name of the feature is question review and edit. Okay. And again, this message was present, uh, in the first mock test. So I'll read out the first statement. It says that the end at the end of each section, you can review as many questions as you would like and can edit up to three answers within the sections allotted time. So that means students won't be given extra time to change or edit their answers. If they wish to do so, they will have to do it within 45 minutes. So when answering a question, you can bookmark it by clicking the bookmark icon that was shown to you on the top right corner. And when a question is bookmarked, the icon will be filled in this color. Okay, so the color of the icon changes from dark to white. Now, clicking the icon again will remove the bookmark. So if a student has by mistake bookmarked the question, but 
he wants to remove that. So he can do so by clicking the icon again. Bookmarking questions during the exam can make the question review and edit process more efficient. All right. So let's see how this can be done. Once you've answered all questions in a section, you will proceed to the question review and edit screen for that section where you can review and edit your answers. Okay. So this is how it would look like. Let's say a student has bookmarked uh, question number four and question number 10 from the first 10 questions of the 21 question, right? Now the student does not need to, to scroll through each and every question to check if the question was bookmarked by him or not. So he just needs to click on question number four and on question number 10 to view the question. And if he wishes to change the answer to that particular question, he can do so. So if you edit an answer, when you click the confirm answer button, you will be prompted to confirm your answer change before proceeding. That is, you still have two options now. So do you want to change your answer to this question? If you click yes, then the answer gets changed. If you click no, then you keep the original answer and return to the question. And here you can see the number of, you can see the remaining number of answer edits. So it's still three because the student has not changed the answer. Yet another point is that if time expires while you are in the process of reviewing and or editing questions, you will automatically be moved to your optional break or the next section of the exam. So if the student does not have any time left to review or edit the question, then he'll be automatically moved to the next section or the optional break. Okay. So yes, that gets us to the question, to the answer of the question. That is, if a student is allowed to skip questions in the GMAT, the answer to the question is no, they're not allowed to skip questions. However, you can make use of the review and edit feature that GMAC has introduced. Thank you.